Only because your humor is terrible. Right. Keep telling yourself that. I know it's funny. And you know what? If you've kept frowning like that, your face might have cracked. That would have been really messy and ugly. If Clearus can kill with the one she sends my way, I'll probably be dead by now. Seeing it directed my way, it takes only a few quick seconds for me to realize how she might have also taken my statement. How wrong and rude it might have how wrong and rude it might have sounded in her ears, however unintentional it is. I've never been good with words, but that's never an acceptable excuse, is it? Suddenly, taking the brunt of her anger seems less complicated than correcting or explaining myself. Nevertheless, I try. I what? Ah, oh, God, crap, crap! Damn it! That was that was so not what I meant. Yeah, that's not. That was not a good way to put it, I guess. I was just saying you look better when you're smiling. <laughs> Her glare doesn't even wane. In fact, I think it's intensified, like the brewing storm. In the face of it, under the sharpness of her stare and her annoyance, I do what any person with a good sense of self-preservation does. Keep my mouth shut and shift my attention elsewhere. The crowd outside looks very interesting today. Maybe I should... Thanks, Ash. She utters all of it in a voice too small, too quiet. But when I turn to her, only those words, her gratitude, resonate throughout the whole room. Not the soft clinking of silverware somewhere, not the, nor the last strains of music fading into silence above us. Instead, it's the meaning behind her gaze that she owes mine that lingers. Steady, unflinching, and open, in the same way she looked at me all those years, with bright eyes and an expression softening into a tender smile. I did not understand it then, how easy it is for her to wear her heart on her sleeve, how she never shies away from expressing herself, even, even among people she barely knows. How she can go through everything without losing herself. Now? Now it's among the hundreds, thousand that hang unspoken between us. Trivial, little things with worth still too big to put into words. Either because it's too early or because there's never a real proper time. But now though, this? This will do. Until the moment itself dwindles. Until reality pulls us back in, reminding us of the things we've set aside in his favor. What was that about earlier? You look like you're about to wage war on that letter. Oh, it's... it's nothing. You probably won't like it when you hear it. What did you do, Isabella? Maybe? You haven't said anything yet, so how am I supposed to decide how to react? A small frown returns to her face, although it lacks the same anger from a... Uh, from just a few minutes ago, the bitterness stays. Now there's also uncertainty. It takes another minute until she speaks again. This time, she doesn't meet my eye. I was just thinking... Maybe... Maybe we should go back to the mansion. Ah, I thought she sent the... She spread the letter to... <laughs> she, she, um, I thought she showed the letter to uh, other people. We should go back to the mansion. Blood freezes in my veins. Immediately, before I can even think further on what to say, my mouth's moving. They are dis uh, disapproval already at the tip of my tongue. Isabella, you know that's... I... I know, Ash. I just thought... I just thought we'd find something in there. That if I go back, we'll get the answers we need. Well, we need to find that dungeon, though. I'm pretty sure that dungeon owes the uh, uh, answer to, to everything. I the letter there so maybe right it's not that i don't agree with her hell i've been considering the same thing it's the only lead we have after all but it's not going to be a simple walk in the park who knows what we might find in there if i bring her with me i won't be able to guarantee her safety she'll be in even greater danger and hello if there's a need to go back to that accursed place, I'm doing it on my own. Whether she agrees with these plans is inconsequential. 
with Zack and Rebecca gone, her well-being is my top priority and I'm not just about to drag her in there with me. So I tell her as much, despite the des determination and desperation in her eyes. Anything to keep her safe. Uh, I think uh, teamwork is going to be better in this one. And what could happen at worst, right? We're both doomed. So it's either we go together and maybe solve this, or maybe someone perishes, or we don't go alone and <sighs> well that's kind of yeah maybe it's better to let her behind though because maybe she would be um safe but no wait that ghost can go everywhere whenever she wants so it just go is dangerous get it though you're not going back to that mansion. But Ash, what about- This isn't up for debate. Do you really think they'll just let you in? Do you really think they'll give a Tam if you walk in there carrying that stupid letter of all things? No, but there has to be something we can tell them. Ash, they were with me during the open house. They have to know. They're in as much trouble as we are. They're living in that place. Well, I doubt the curse is actually, um affect them? I think it's actually involving them? That ghost woman came from there. Both her and the letter. Something's in that house, Ash. And whatever it hides might be the only thing that'll get us out of this mess. Alright. Supposing you do find an answer there. What happens? Let's say that by some dumb luck, you got inside and found something. I don't even have to bring up what they did to Zack. In fact, what they'll do to you is the least of our problems. What if you see her again? What if she goes after you? What are you going to do? It's not like we have any other choice. Besides, I'm pretty sure you've already thought of the same thing. Admit it. Yeah. Yes. That doesn't mean I'm going to let you run straight into trouble. What you're planning to do is risky. For you. Give it up, Isabella. Zach's already gone, and if you... Oh, uh, shit. Realization comes way too late and my throat closes up as soon as I realize what has just slipped out of my mouth. It was supposed to be a speech, damn it. Words carefully picked to ease people into the idea, especially her who has always seen Zack as that decent older brother she never had as family. The way her expression shifts from terror to disbelief then to anguish makes the horrible lump in my throat feel more unpleasant. There's a sorrow in it. Palpable enough as the meaning of what I said sinks in. A pain I can't even hope to understand. One day, we'll all deal with it in our own ways. I can't even bring myself to look her straight in the eye. Unexpectedly, Isabella merely clam clams up. No resistance. No further arguments like I've come to expect from her. She doesn't even shed a single tear. Uncharacteristic. Just a silence that stretches far too thin, till the air in the old room grows awkward and suffocating. A standstill that will get us nowhere. Although if there's one thing I'll talk has wonderfully succeeded at, it's making me feel like a total asshole and hypocrite. And I am, considering my plans tonight. Sure I can tell her, but what good will it do? I do intend to tell G before leaving tonight. He has to know if he's going to be keeping an eye on her for me. One person is already enough, however. Hell, simply letting someone in on the plan makes me iffy. Broadening that circle and revealing too much will just cause another pointless concern. But someone has to be aware at least of where I'm heading off to in case. In case things don't pan out, expect the worst. Even if I wrongly intended to do a quick survey of the, of the place. In my own words, risky. Isabella doesn't need to be burdened with the worry my entire scheme entails. I like to think that yes, to some extent, she understands. Even if she does not entirely agree with me. The dilemma clears in her. Otherwise, 
A scowl won't have a deeper set to it. Her lips won't be pressed in a thin line. Or her hand will no longer be balled into fists. She would have pushed that argument if she doesn't. And I know she has no lack of things to say. Maybe it's because she has already thought of the same thing. Maybe my words have made her come to her senses. Either way, it's best that we simply leave it here for now. I've already said enough. Without another word, I stand up. At the same time, footsteps shuffle from the pub's entrance as cheerful chatter suddenly fills the room as a group of people enters. It's all the distraction I need. Muttering an excuse, I beat the S I beat a hasty exit out of the main lounge and leave her on her own, despite the disappointed look on her face. Before Isabel can say what she's been mulling over, before the last imploring glance she directs my way forces me to change my mind. And I doubt that's a good idea though, because now they're gonna be both alone. The girl's gonna be able to reach us more easily. It's another lasting image that firmly etches itself in my memory. One that spurs the current conscience among other things. I just hope I won't forget what I've chosen for myself tonight. Alright guys, I'm gonna take a quick break, a 10 minute break, and I will be right back. So, go take a drink, bathroom, do whatever you want, and we'll be back in 10 minutes. Thank you for watching guys, if you enjoyed the cast, please consider giving a follow. You can also check out the social media under the video, there's a Twitter, YouTube, uh, Facebook, and Steam page. So yeah, that's it. Thank you guys, I'll be right back. Swear it's been 700 degrees in here since you came in I could swear that this room has been running out of air And now it's starting to spin You make me feel kind of bad, kind of good I swear I'm hitting the floor I could swear that my stomach just sunk from 